Hello, my name is Bart Prenel. I'm professor at the University of Leuven, and I'm heading the research group COSIC, which stands for Computer Security and Industrial Cryptography. We do research on cryptography and its applications in cybersecurity and privacy. I'm teaching three courses. The first course is Cybersecurity Basics, in which we give the students an overview in the first week of the whole topic of cybersecurity, and students in small groups make a first project on cybersecurity. Then I'm also teaching cryptography and network security, where we explain the basic principles of cryptography and we show how it can be applied to secure networks, web systems, payment systems, mobile communication systems, and so on. And then finally, I'm also teaching in the course Advancements in Cryptography, where we go deeper in detail in cryptographic methods. I'm Wouter Olsen. I'm the head of uh, the Distronet Research Group. We are a division of the Department of Computer Science of about 120 people, um, more than 10 professors, of which the majority is doing research and applied research in cybersecurity. So we clearly play, uh, together with COSIC, uh, a leading role in this program. I teach the course on uh, security and privacy of contemporary distributed systems. So if you look at uh, society today, there's many distributed applications and systems. Take, uh, take the case of healthcare applications, finance and banking applications, but also complex processes run by businesses that we do not often see as end users. They all have security concerns. And the difficulty there is that, that these are not small systems with a very small footprint where classical uh, profound security solutions cannot be easily uh, enforced uh, and security cannot be proven. So a lot of trade-offs are needed. Uh, today, we plan for uh, blockchain-based systems, distributed ledgers, peer-to-peer -peer systems, advanced search systems, AI systems, as typical contemporary cases that we want to zoom into in a workshop-style course. I'm also responsible for the master thesis. We have a 15 study point master thesis as part of our one year program. These theses, uh, as you might expect, are typically connected to the five top disciplines that, uh, com that constitute our program. Uh, just for the recap, that's secure hardware, secure software, secure systems, privacy and advanced cryptography. This year, we had uh, 50 thesis proposals for 17 students. So there's, there's much more than, than one needs. So students typically get their first choice because of the wealth of subjects. And it's also good to know that these subjects are not limited to these five disciplines. For example, security of AI applications, uh, network security, two major themes that are not the five pillars of the program are also there. And, uh, and I feel that students are very satisfied with that, with that offer. Hello, my name is Ingrid Verbouwede. I work in the COSIC research group at KU Leuven. We are part of the electrical engineering department. Uh, my area is hardware security. And that's very broad. That means acceleration of crypto. That means uh, and adding uh, circuits to embedded systems, uh, trusted computing platforms, and so on. In cybersecurity, I'm responsible for the hardware security track. And the hardware security track um, includes uh, two main courses. The first one is design of digital platforms, where students learn the general tricks on how to map some maybe crypto algorithm into an FPGA acceleration. Um, we have um, an important project that goes with it. And in the project, students learn how to map uh, in, at this moment, a crypto algorithm onto an um, FPGA hardware. And then in second semester, I have a course on hardware security, uh, very broadly, that includes a very low level components, such as how do I create a quality true random number, which is an essential building block in, in security. It also includes uh, aspects of trusted platform modules, um, side channel attacks and countermeasures, um, and so on. Hello, I am Matti van Oef. I am a professor at the Computer Science Department here at KU Leuven University in Belgium. And my research is about uh, network security with a focus on Wi-Fi security, and I also investigate software security as well. So I teach the course Software uh, Security Through the Lifecycle. And in this course, we basically answer the question, how can you develop secure software? And here we really look at all aspects, so defining requirements, 
how to do best practices when implementing the software. And also once the software is released, how can you manage uh, the vulnerabilities in it? So far, my favorite part of the program has been uh, the, uh, the difference in all the courses. Like you learn about software vulnerabilities, but also you learn about the human aspect of cybersecurity. So what I like about that is like cybersecurity is very technical, can be very technical. But if you take privacy courses, for example, you also get that human aspect, which is very interesting to see how privacy has evolved over the years and how it has impacted our society and which tools we can use to actually um, guard our privacy. So far, my favorite part of the program has been the seminars that we get from experts in both the industry and the academic world about many uh, cybersecurity related topics. The first months, first two months of the program was uh, very intense, uh, as I thought before. Uh, it is a really intense program. And uh, I, what I like most are um, to meet people from uh, industry and from academia every week and we have the chance to talk to them about their uh, experiences and their academic knowledge. And yeah, it's really nice. It is not only teaching and learning, it is like experiencing. What I particularly liked about this program so far is that when we as students have some feedback or we have some input, the academic people and the people organizing the program, they are very open to this feedback and they appreciate that in fact that we give our own input. Well, our teaching is based on our research and KU Leuven has a world-class research group in cybersecurity, both my group and the group Distrinet at the Department of Computer Science. We also have very strong collaborations with our legal team and together we're internationally at the top and we believe in education driven by research. And secondly, there is an enormous demand for people in cybersecurity. And I think we have a very good network with industry and government. So there will be ample job opportunities after you complete this master. Um, my opinion in this master, what is very unique is that you get to sample from very different aspects of cybersecurity. So, so my own expertise is hardware security, but you also uh, will learn about cryptography and security, system security, software security, even some of the, in general courses, the legal aspects. And I think it, this comprehensive approach that makes it very unique and uh, of a very high value. So why should you choose this master program? Well, I think on one hand, we focus on the practical aspects of security, so you really get some hands-on experience. Well, at the same time, we also have courses that uh, dig more into foundational aspects. And given that we do this all in one year, I think you really get a lot of value and you learn a lot in just one year. I believe students could and should choose this master if they really are interested in a, in a strong and deep technical knowledge base on cybersecurity. So there's many outstanding and appealing programs in Europe, uh, for sure. Few of them are built upon strong technical depth at the level of this university. So I think KU Leuven has a strong reputation there. And, uh, and I think um, it's clear if you look at the details of the program. Having said that, uh, it's not as narrow as purely technical. There is enough surrounding content, such as ethics, legal aspects, business aspects of cybersecurity but as a strong dominance of the technical depth. 